In 2018, which is better, Final Cut Pro 10 or Premiere Pro? So before I give you guys the pros and cons of each of these editing softwares, I just want to point out that I've used both of these multiple, multiple times. I've edited hundreds of videos in both Final Cut Pro 10 and also Premiere Pro in multiple different versions. Now, unfortunately, if you are on a Windows machine, you won't be able to try out Final Cut Pro 10 for yourself. So this video is going to be specifically for Mac users, but if you are on a PC, don't worry. Yeah, come along the ride because I really need watch time. Uh, we're really close to getting the 4,000 hours. So right now I use Final Cut Pro 10 to edit all my videos on my YouTube channel, so I'm going to start off with the pros of Final Cut Pro. Firstly, whether you like the magnetic timeline or not, it is one of my favorite features of Final Cut Pro that I cannot find in Premiere Pro. In Premiere Pro, you have to manually drag the clips or just close the gaps, whereas I love that Final Cut Pro keeps everything connected and together and, and synced up. I've had very few issues with the magnetic timeline, and I honestly love it a, a, a lot. Like. I love the magnetic timeline. I found I can edit a rough cut of a video on my YouTube channel in literally five minutes. That's crazy. And of course this gets brought up all the time, but Final Cut Pro has a much faster export time than Premiere Pro does. Since Apple develops both Final Cut Pro and also the components of the Mac, they work seamlessly. You're able to export 4K video in stellar times, whereas in Premiere Pro, you're gonna have to literally spend four times as long waiting for that dang video to export. And we all know how bad exporting is. What's also great about Final Cut Pro is when you're exporting, you can work on other projects. The next thing that I really enjoy about Final Cut Pro is the easy transitions and easy effects. A lot of pros will probably make fun of this, but there's a lot of just automatic templates to put on your videos. This sounds weird, but the whole software is just more playful and easy to use, which kind of is, I think, what Apple was going for. It's, it's not as much customizability and more of work. If I want this video to look like it was shot on a camcorder, I'll just drop over the camcorder preset. And there's a lot of really cool people making transitions and effects for Final Cut Pro. Uh, uh, just like this a glitch effect that I use for all my hashtag as Paul episodes. But overall, I feel like Final Cut Pro is faster, it's more seamless to edit videos in the software. And from what I can tell in here, it does not crash and have as many bugs as Premiere Pro. But there are some noteworthy pros to Premiere Pro that I want to get to in this video. First off, this is something that a lot of people are going to say, but it's a lot more professional. Adobe Premiere Pro has even been used to edit feature films. I'm pretty sure a lot of the X-Men movies were edited in Premiere Pro. Also, Premiere Pro has some of the best color grading tools. Now say what you want to video. Resolve has some great colors as well, but we're not talking about DaVinci Resolve in this video. I honestly think that Premiere Pro has some of the best color grading tools in any editing software. And of course, in Adobe Premiere Pro, there's much more customizability. As I said, in Final Cut Pro, it's where playful and stuff just works. And there's tons of transitions you can download, and also that come pre-installed that you can just make simple effects. But as I said, Final Cut Pro is not that customizable, and Premiere definitely is. If you want to make sure that vignette looks exactly like you want it, you're going to want to use Premiere Pro. If you want that special effect to look exactly Exactly like you want it, you're gonna want to use Adobe Premiere Pro. Final Cut Pro is kind of like it has effects, like it works. It's kind of like an Instagram filter. It doesn't, it's, it like makes it look good, but it's not perfect. And that's the biggest pro of Adobe Premiere. There's so much more customizability and professionalism to the software. And that's why I choose to use Adobe Premiere Pro for most of the freelance and work gigs that I take, while also using Final Cut Pro for the videos that I make on my YouTube channel. So to wrap it up, Final Cut Pro and Premiere Pro both have amazing features, but which is better? If you're making films, I would strongly recommend getting Adobe Premiere Pro but Final Cut Pro can edit amazing films as well. It's all about learning how to use the software to its fullest potential. I can pretty much do anything in Final Cut Pro than anyone else can do in Adobe Premiere Pro. And that's just because I've been using Final Cut Pro for years. I I've learned the ins and outs of the software. And that's why I choose to use Final Cut Pro for my videos on my YouTube channel, because I'm fast at it, and that's important. If you want to learn how I edit fast in Final Cut Pro, I made a video about it right up there. So yeah, right now I prefer Final Cut Pro over Premiere Pro this year, but that is subject to change. If you agree with the points that I had to say in this video, make sure to leave a like. Are you team Final Cut Pro? Or are you team Premiere Pro? Let me know in the comments below and why. Are there some pros and cons about Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro that I did not mention in this video? Let me know in the comments below. And maybe you'll influence me to switch. I don't know. And if you guys are new here, please smash subscribe button. If you guys want to, I will still new videos each and every week on this channel. And if you guys have not already, make sure to push the notification bell. You totally, totally should have got a brand new spanking notification whenever I a new video. That's awesome. And you 100% should do that because YouTube is not sending out notifications as much as it should. So yeah, those are my opinions on Apple's Final Cut Pro 10 and Adobe Premiere Pro. Peace everyone and I will see you in the next one. Freezing outside a little bit high on the feeling can't see